Hi guys, my name is Johan from Restoration.bike and in this video I'm going to delve into the BBUN55 and what makes it one of the top choices if you're looking for a new square taper bottom bracket. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I also have a Facebook group for people who are into bike restoration and you're welcome to join that one as well with the help of the link in the description below. So one of the key factors why Shimano was able to establish such a dominant position in the bicycle components industry beginning in the 80s was the fact that they alone found a way to offer relatively low cost and extremely durable components. And one of those components is the bottom bracket. Most notably, the Shimano BB UN52, which dominated the square taper bottom bracket market in the mid to late 90s. The BB UN55 is the successor to the BB UN52. And one of the biggest differences is the fact that the original BB UN52 at a nylon cup on the non-drive side. Nylon cups aren't bad per se. In fact, I recommend using them with steel frames to prevent galvanic corrosion. And just as with skewers, the non-drive side cup is meant to hold the bottom bracket in place, not to tighten it into the frame. But many people, myself included, prefer aluminum cups for the aesthetics and to minimize the risk of stripping the notches when removing the cup. In 2003, Shimano introduced the Holotech 2 crankset and accompanying new style bottom bracket. I've done a comparison between Holotech 2 and square taper bottom brackets where the new technology doesn't necessarily come out on top as the winner, with one of the downsides that they are less easy to install if you ask me. All in all, square taper bottom brackets are still very much viable options for your bicycle. And it's very much up for discussion whether you can truly upgrade to something better when the likes of Phil Wood and SKF still makes superb, fully serviceable square taper bottom brackets. A big question then remains between the still readily available and newer BBU and 300 and the older tried and true BB UN55, which one of these two is better? There are a number of reasons when looking at the BBUN55 versus the BBUN300 that I would pick the first one. The BBUN55 has always been more expensive than the BNUN300. And although there is no straight up comparison on the internet between the two, an increase in price usually means that higher quality materials are used. And the one-piece body of the BNU and 55 and bigger bearings suggest that just that. Square taper bottom brackets are no longer a viable option for any bicycle manufacturer of high-end bikes. That also means that the need for a high-quality Shimano square taper bottom bracket for new bikes is long gone. And that's also the reason we don't see any diversity anymore in the Shimano's product offering of square taper bottom brackets. The BB UN300 is offered within the current Shimano Tourney MTB group set. This is the lowest tier group set that Shimano offers, further strengthening the assumption that indeed the BB UN55 is a higher quality build. It's just a fact of life that technology wants to innovate. So even if there's really nothing wrong with what I consider to be one of the most fail-safe bicycle parts ever to hit the market, square taper bottom brackets would need to go someday. But if you are looking for a solid option for your restoration product and you ask yourself which one is better between the BB UN55 versus the BB UN300, I would always choose the BB UN55. That choice is both based on personal experience. I have a BB UN52, BB UN55, and BB UN300, what I can read on the internet, and my common sense assumption as laid out in this video. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please consider joining the Facebook group, and I hope I can welcome you again for the next video. Bye for now.